Welcome, future DevOps engineers. Today, I'm going to walk you through a quick learning plan that will help you kickstart your journey to becoming a skilled DevOps professional. Whether you're just starting out or looking to level up, these 12 key steps will give you a strong foundation in the tools, technologies, and practices used in the DevOps world. From mastering Linux and version control to containerization, cloud platforms, and continuous integration, this learning plan covers it all. If you're ready to dive into the world of automation, orchestration, and infrastructure management, stay tuned. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear path to follow, so you can learn fast, practice smart, and become a certified DevOps engineer. Let's get started. Before starting, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Telegram and YouTube for quick technical contents to save time and learn fast. Alright, let's dive into step 1 of our DevOps learning plan, Linux Fundamentals. Now, you might be wondering, why Linux? Well, Linux is the backbone of most DevOps tools and cloud environments, and here's why. First of all, Linux is widely used because of its flexibility, security, and open source nature. Most modern cloud environments, whether it's AWS, Azure, or GCP, are built on Linux-based systems. Let's break down some of the key concepts you need to learn in Linux to get started. Command Line Interface CLI. First up is the Command Line Interface or CLI. This is how you interact with the Linux system directly, typing commands to navigate, control, and configure your environment. It's crucial because as a DevOps engineer, you'll spend a lot of time working in the CLI. File System Structure Next, the File System Structure In Linux, everything is organized into directories and files. You need to understand how these are structured so you can navigate the system, find files, and manage resources efficiently. Permissions and Ownership Then there's Permissions and Ownership. This involves learning how files and directories are controlled using commands like chmod and chown. Understanding who can read, write, or execute files is key for maintaining security and proper access in any system. Package Management Linux also uses package managers to install and update software. Whether it's apt on Ubuntu or yum on CentOS, you'll need to know how to install, update, and remove software on your servers. Basic Networking Commands Lastly, you'll want to pick up some basic networking commands like ping, netstat, or ifconfig. These will help you troubleshoot network issues, monitor traffic, and ensure that your servers can communicate with the rest of the network. So, by mastering Linux fundamentals, you're setting yourself up for success as a DevOps engineer. It's your foundation for everything else we'll cover in this learning plan. Stay with me, because, in the next step, we'll move on to mastering Git and version control, another key skill in your DevOps toolkit. Let's go! Next up, Step 2, Mastering Git and Version Control. Now, Git is a version control system that tracks changes in code and makes collaboration super easy. Here's what you need to learn in Git. Basic Git commands, commands like clone, commit, push, and pull will be your bread and butter. Branching and merging strategies, these are key for managing parallel work in teams. Collaboration, platforms like GitHub or GitLab are essential for sharing and reviewing code. Conflict resolution, learn how to handle conflicting changes in code. Version control is crucial for collaborating in teams and managing code across environments. Without Git, teamwork and tracking changes would be a nightmare. In short, Git makes sure everyone stays on the same page. Let's jump to step 3, Networking Basics. So why networking? DevOps engineers need to understand how applications communicate across networks. Here's what to focus on. IP addresses, DNS, DHCP, basic networking identifiers. Ports and protocols, things like HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, and TCP IP help applications communicate. Firewalls and network security, 
critical for keeping systems safe. Load balancing and NAT, these ensure traffic is distributed efficiently and securely. Understanding networking ensures you can connect services, troubleshoot issues, and secure your environments. Networks are the backbone of application communication, so you'll need this knowledge to manage your services. On to step 4, scripting. Scripting is about writing small programs to automate tasks. This is where things start to get really powerful. Here's what to dive into. Shell scripting, bash basics like loops and variables will help you automate tasks in Linux. Python, learn syntax, functions, and modules. Python is a versatile tool in the DevOps world. Automation scripts, things like backups or log analysis. Automate repetitive tasks, think server configurations or deployments. Automation is at the heart of DevOps. By scripting, you eliminate manual work and ensure consistency. Plus, automation makes processes repeatable, which is a huge time saver. Now for step 5, mastering CI slash CD concepts. CI, or continuous integration, means automatically testing code. CD, or continuous deployment, takes it one step further by automatically pushing code to production. Here's what you should focus on. Jenkins slash GitLab setup, get pipelines in place for automating your processes. Build, test, and deploy, automate these steps to speed up your workflow. Handle failures, learn how to troubleshoot CI slash CD pipeline errors. Environment-specific configurations, ensure your code works in different setups. CI slash CD accelerates development cycles. With automated testing and deployments, you can release updates and fixes more quickly and reliably. It's a game-changer for fast-paced development teams. Let's move to step 6, learning containerization with Docker. Containerization packages your app and all its dependencies, ensuring it runs the same everywhere. Here's what you need to focus on with Docker. Docker basics, learn about images, containers, and volumes. Building Docker images, understand how to create and manage them. Networking and storage in containers, this is key to connecting your containers. Docker Compose, for managing multi-container environments. Containers provide consistency, scalability, and service isolation. In microservices architectures, Docker is crucial for running your services efficiently and reliably. On to step 7, mastering orchestration with Kubernetes. Orchestration is all about automating the deployment, scaling, and management of containers. Here's what to learn about Kubernetes. Kubernetes basics, understand pods, deployments, and services. Auto-scaling and load balancing, keep your apps responsive under load. Managing stateful applications, critical for data-dependent services. Networking and storage, Kubernetes makes it easy to manage these across clusters. Kubernetes makes it simple to manage large containerized environments, offering scalability and reliability. It's the go-to for managing microservices at scale. Let's talk about step 8, learning cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and GCP. These platforms provide on-demand resources like storage, compute, and databases. Here's what to focus on. Core services, compute, storage, and networking are your fundamentals. Deployment models, understand IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. Elasticity and scalability, learn how to scale up and down as needed. Security and compliance, this is critical when working in the cloud. Cloud platforms are the foundation of modern infrastructure. Mastering them lets you deploy, scale, and secure applications quickly, making cloud skills vital for any DevOps professional. Now for step 9, understanding infrastructure as code, IAC, with tools like Terraform and Ansible. IAC allows you to manage infrastructure with code rather than manual setups. Here's what to learn. Terraform basics, focus on providers, modules, and state management. 
Ansible Basics, Learn Playbooks, Roles, and Inventory. Automating Provisioning, Use IAC to Deploy Infrastructure Automatically. Idempotency, This ensures no unintended side effects when running your scripts repeatedly. IAC ensures that your infrastructure is consistent and scalable. It makes deployments more efficient and disaster recovery a breeze. Finally, Step 10, Learning Monitoring and Logging Tools like Prometheus and ELK. Monitoring checks the health of your systems, and logging helps debug and track performance. Here's what you need to know. Prometheus, use it for metrics collection and alerting. ELK Stack, centralize your logs with Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. Dashboards, create real-time monitoring dashboards. Alerts, set up incident alerts to stay on top of issues. Monitoring and logging give you insight into system performance and help you catch issues early. This makes your systems more reliable and easier to troubleshoot. Now for step 11, practice automation everywhere. Automation is the backbone of DevOps, reducing manual effort and making processes more efficient. Here's how you can master automation. Automating CI slash CD pipelines, set up continuous integration and deployment with tools like Jenkins. Cloud auto scaling, automate infrastructure scaling based on demand. IAC automation, use tools like Terraform to automate infrastructure provisioning. Testing automation, automate unit, integration, and performance tests to catch bugs early. Automation increases productivity, minimizes human errors, and ensures consistency in deployments. It helps scale and optimize processes, making everything run smoother. Finally, Step 12, stay updated on DevOps best practices. DevOps is evolving fast, and staying current with the latest trends and tools is crucial. Here's how to keep up to date. Follow industry blogs and forums, Keep an eye on resources like DevOps.com and Stack Overflow. Attend conferences and webinars, these offer insights into the latest trends. Learn emerging tools, explore new innovations like serverless and Kubernetes operators. Understand DevSEC Ops and FinOps, integrating security and cost management into your DevOps practices is key. With the DevOps landscape constantly changing, Staying updated keeps your skills sharp and your knowledge relevant. It ensures you can adopt the best tools and practices for long-term success. Congratulations! You've made it through the essential steps to becoming a DevOps engineer. This journey requires dedication, continuous learning, and a passion for automation, and now, you're on the right path. If you found this video helpful and want more quick tech tips and tutorials on the latest technologies, be sure to follow me. Hit subscribe on YouTube, and follow me on Twitter and Telegram for bite-sized tech wisdom and insights. I'm constantly sharing content that can help you master not just DevOps, but all things cloud, automation, and beyond. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep learning and stay inspired.